So, but then after that first album, I think it took you three years to rec well to c to c follow follow that album up. Um, what are your thoughts then on on the more things change? What is what is that that vibe for you? It was, I mean, it was killer. You know, more things change was, you know, it again did really good, and you know, it basically just it just you know it kept us where you know instead of having a sophomore slump and going down, yeah. you know, like it just kind of kept us where we were, which was great, you know, because we never expected to get where we were, you know, it was a roller coaster. That was a really intense time because it was like, you know, people there. you'd open the fucking bus, yeah. you know, to go into the club and there'd be 30 kids waiting outside the bus, <laughs> you know, like they're just waking up like, uh, you know, like all you want to do is take a dump and get some coffee and like, you know, 30 people are hanging out like, oh, let me get autographs and freaking out. And so yeah. it was, uh, you know, to go from, you know, relative obscurity you know to just not being able to escape um anywhere you know anywhere we went you know it was it was it, it took an adjustment period you know like it was kind of like we all dealt with it differently you know some of us kind of turned inward some of us you know kind of got aggro outward and uh you know we what just kind of like it was just kind of like holding on to this fucking roller coaster man like we didn't know you know, no one taught us how to deal with that, you know, so. Was it true that, well, I think after, after, after that, um, I read somewhere that you got into rehab, was it true or? No, I, uh, I had, you know, I kind of got through, you know, I went through a big kind of self-destructive phase around that time, so. Um, you mean drugs-wise or? Drugs-wise, just, yeah, I mean, like, cutting myself and drugs and stuff like that, so. Out, a lot of alcohol, you know, so. Um, you know, it was kind of rehab, yeah. You know, like I kind of came out of it at the end of the more things change and ended up going to therapy for about a year and a half and, you know, dealing with some issues and trying to get past it. And then that went into the burning red, which was kind of me figuring out how to deal with this new, uh, you know, person, you know. It was kind of like I had, you know, peeled the onion and, and uh, I wasn't really sure, you know, like for forever I had had this like huge wall up in front of me, you know, with people. And then, you know, I finally dealt with a lot of shit from my past and a lot of shit from my childhood. You know, now I'm going back out on the road and, you know, it's like I kind of didn't know how to act. So I kind of reverted back to everything that I did. So I went through another drug phase. <laughs> so after, after, yeah. after, 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 <laughs> yeah. the burning red elm. But this yeah. was more like a fun drug phase. It wasn't okay. a self-destructive drug phase. So it was just kind of like a fucking, you know, do a lot of drugs and be a lunatic. So kind of like to bring me out of uh, this kind of shell that I was going back into. So. It's a weird time, you know. Yeah, but I think it's for Cocaine, you. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Okay, because I, I read through through the lyrics, uh, even while while the burning red. I think they're really honest and really fa painful lyrics. Maybe is it for you? If you look back on those lyrics, and um, what are your thoughts on it now? D can you still sing those songs? What is for you? What is it? Because it's really honest and really must be hard to to even to write those songs. Yeah, I mean. I mean, some of those songs we've never played live, yeah. you know, they're just too, like, I don't want to do that live, you know. I mean, well, the five songs. Yeah, the five, yeah. and even the Burning Red, you know, to some degree is like yeah. a very hard song to play live, you know, because it's so, um, you know, depressing, <laughs> you yeah. know, it's a very depressing song. I, uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm proud of those lyrics, I'm proud of the songs, and I think, uh, you know, it was something I needed to do, you know, it was like a purging, you know, and I needed to, you know, get that out. And I didn't, you know, going into it, I don't think I really looked at the consequences of writing songs like that, you know, like, I didn't think ahead far enough to go, yeah, you're probably not going to want to play that live or yeah, that's going to be really difficult to, you know, talk about for the rest of your life now. And uh regrets maybe, no? I don't regret it, but you know, like you know, I mean in some ways I'm, you know, I mean I'm very glad I did it, you know. It's just hard to like, you know, some people want to hear those songs and it's just like, you know, I don't want to sing those songs, you know. 
I sang it, and that was like enough, you know. No, no, but I think it's for the people who who listen to your music. I think they, for them, it's important too because it's really honest. They, 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 they have the feeling they know you. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, but I think it's no. Yeah. I think it's. Yeah. Um,